हमारे इस चैनल पर आप सभी बच्चों का एक बार फिर से स्वागत है आज के इस सेशन में हम जनरल रोटेशनल मोशन के ऊपर एक क्वेश्चन करेंगे इस चैनल पर मैं लगातार आपको जेई एडवांस लेवल के क्वेश्चंस के थ्रू फिजिक्स के टिप्स ट्रिक्स और कॉन्सेप्ट्स बता रहा हूँ आज रोटेशनल मोशन के इस क्वेश्चन को ठीक से समझिएगा क्वेश्चन क्या है देखते हैं अ यूनिफॉर्म स्टिक एक्चुअली डायग्राम में इट इज लुकिंग लाइक ए ब्लॉक इट इज एक्चुअली ए स्टिक आई एल जस्ट रीड राइट इट इज ए स्टिक दैट मीन्स इट इज वेरी थिन राइट इट्स थिकनेस इज नेग्लिजिबल इट इज ए स्टिक दैट इज केप्ट ऑन ए हॉर्जोंटल सर्फेस दिस इज हॉर्जोंटल सर्फेस मास ऑफ द स्टिक इज एम राइट एंड नाउ एट द राइट एंड ऑफ द स्टिक a rope is tied and you start pulling it vertically up by applying a force f uh, right end of the string uh, right end of the rod stick is being pulled up uh, there is a stick lying like this and this end is tied to a rope string and you start pulling it up by applying a force f the question says the question says that when you pull it up it produces an acceleration a in the center of mass which is less than g read the question properly if you if you are pulling this end of the stick up this force produces an instantaneous acceleration a in the center of mass jaise hi aapne ye force lagana shuru kiya immediately after that the center of mass of this stick has an upward acceleration of a but that value of a is less than g this is given in the question so of course as as soon as you apply a force at this end in upward direction the whole stick loses contact with the surface except this left most point ye point sirf ground ke contact mein rahega rest everything will lose contact with the ground so this is in this end is in contact with the ground and of course there is a normal reaction force acting over here now the question is asking you about uh, just uh, guess about the value of normal reaction force will this normal reaction be equal to mg will it be greater than mg less than mg or will it be somewhere between mg by 2 and mg or will it be exactly equal to mg by 2 so on so forth so these are the options and you have to tell what will be the value of normal reaction that means what is true for normal reaction among these four options immediately after this force is applied immediately after the force is applied where do you see the value of normal reaction to be that is the question students give it a genuine try pause the video i am starting my solution ah uh, the first thing that we need to understand is this is a rigid body okay and there are various forces acting on this body one is f the other is mg and the other is the normal reaction force acting at this end a let me call this end as a as i have already explained that as soon as you apply this force over here the whole stick will leave contact with the ground only this end will remain in contact with the ground so the normal reaction force obviously is acting at the leftmost end point a so these are three forces acting on this stick now the acceleration of center of mass acceleration of center of mass can be written as f plus n minus mg is equal to ma students please understand when you use newton's second law of motion f is equal to ma f stands for vector sum of all the external forces acting on the body and a stands for acceleration of center of mass of the body when you are using the equation f is equal to ma a is the acceleration of center of mass that is one thing and the second important thing is while using this equation we need not worry about the point of application of the force main ye kehna chahta hu ki agar maan lo n ki value nahi badli wahi hai jo abhi hai aur f ki position ko humne yahan shift kar diya hota to kya ye forces agar itne hi rehte position change kar de sirf hum to kya center of mass ka acceleration badlega nahi सेंटर ऑफ मास के एक्सेलरेशन को फोर्स किस पॉइंट पे लग रहा है इससे कोई लेना देना नहीं है टोटल फोर्स क्या है दैट डिवाइडेड बाय मास इज द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ मास अदर पॉइंट्स मे हैव डिफरेंट एक्सेलरेशन बट द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ मास इज समथिंग दैट इज डिसाइडेड बाय एक्सटर्नल फोर्सेस 
right that is a very important concept that you must understand now uh, if you apply this force f what is happening the stick begins to basically rotate about this point a let us say its instantaneous angular acceleration is alpha the whole thing starts rotating about this end point like this the whole thing has an angular acceleration alpha let us assume that so this is the rotation axis right now right so what is the net force acting on this body we all understand that normal reaction force will not produce any torque about point a f will produce a torque a counter clockwise torque and mg will produce a clockwise torque so the net torque will be torque due to f minus torque due to mg so i am writing here the torque torque due to f is f into l where l is this length this is the rotation axis my pen this is the rotation axis from this axis the force line of action of the force is at a distance l therefore torque produced by this force about point a is f into l now what is torque due to mg it is mg into l by 2 reason being line of action of this force is at a distance of l by 2 from point a and because the two torques are in opposite direction we will take the difference net torque on the body about point a is this much and this will be equal to i alpha what is i you must write moment of inertia of the body about the rotation axis this axis pen is the axis so what is moment of inertia of this rod about this axis ml square by 3 so ml square by 3 into angular acceleration alpha now one more critical thing one more very important thing ah uh, we can pictureize this rod we can think about this rod as if it is rotating about this point with angular acceleration alpha because the question is saying uh, tell the value of normal reaction immediately after this force is applied immediately after the rod begins to rotate so none of these points in the rod are having any speed right now the force has just been applied so none of the points in the rod have any kind of speed right now okay so all these points are going in a circle they are rotating about point a but none of these points have any speed so when there is no speed there is no centripetal acceleration it is something like you are participating in a bike race and the racing track is circular you are here with your bike and the referee says one two three go so immediately after he says go what is your acceleration what is your speed no speed no speed so because you are not having any speed you are going to move in a circle but right now you are not having any speed therefore there is no centripetal acceleration there is no radial acceleration but your speed begins to change as soon as you hear go you raise the accelerator and the bike races ahead so there is an angular acceleration there is a tangential acceleration there is an acceleration in the direction of tangent and the tangential acceleration is related to angular acceleration by by what relation tangential acceleration is actually r into alpha where r is the radius of this circle this is true for any point so when there is no centripetal acceleration there is only tangential acceleration value of that acceleration will be r alpha so what about the center of mass right now the center of mass is a point at a distance of l by 2 r is l by 2 the center of mass is going to move in a circle of radius l by 2 it is not having any speed right now so there is no centripetal acceleration but there will be a tangential acceleration and this is the acceleration of center of mass it will be alpha into r r means l by 2 so in terms of alpha the acceleration of center of mass will be alpha into l by 2 so in the first equation a is the acceleration of center of mass and in second equation l alpha l alpha can be written as 2 times the acceleration of center of mass we can write l alpha as 2a so making this change let me cancel one l from here right just cancel one l and we, you are left with one l here l alpha and l alpha can be written as 2a so this becomes 2ma by 3 now this is my second equation 
Now between these two equations, let us eliminate f. Let us eliminate f. Why, why do why do I want to eliminate f? Because in the question given here, uh, there is no mention of f in all the four options. I have to uh, find the value of n in terms of mg basically. Uh, there is no f involved here. So I just want to get rid of f. Let us eliminate f. It is very simple. I'll subtract equation two from sub equation one. So 1 minus 2, if I do 1 minus 2, this is minus f plus f cancels out. Here it is n, this is minus mg, this will be plus mg by 2. So minus mg plus mg by 2 will be, sorry, it will be minus mg by 2 minus 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 mg by 2. Do you understand what I am doing? I am subtracting equation 2 from 1. So, f minus f is 0, n, n is there, this minus this. So, this will become plus. So, minus mg by 2, this is equal to this minus this. So, this is ma and 2 third of ma. So, this is 1 third of ma. So, from here I can see that normal reaction force is mg by 2 plus ma by 3. Right. Now, the question says that acceleration of center of mass is less than g. Therefore, this term, this term is less than mg by 3. This term is less than mg by 3 and this is mg by 2. So, normal reaction is certainly greater than mg by 2. Normal reaction is certainly greater than mg by 2, but it is certainly less than mg. What is the value of normal reaction? mg by 2 plus ma by 3. But ma is actually, ma is actually less than mg. Agar ma mg ke equal hota, to ye mg plus, uh, I am sorry, uh, ye mg by 3 plus mg by 2 hota. Agar ma mg ke barabar hota, a g ke barabar hota, to yahan pe hum likhte mg by 3, mg by 2 to bhi mg tak nahi pahunch pate so naturally this is less than mg but it is certainly greater than mg by 2 so the correct option will be normal reaction is normal reaction is greater than mg by 2 but less than mg so the right answer is b i hope you have understood this uh, many a times iit wale do ask such type of questions in which you have to decide a range and if options are like this it might be perplexing. So, watch this video again if you have not understood this. Make sure that you understand this question. Bye bye. See you in the next video.